Hello, I am Krishna Raghavendran and in this tutorial of MIT App Inventor, we are going to see how you can create an AI chatbot app that is similar to ChatGPT which uses OpenAI's API to generate human-like text. If you are not aware of ChatGPT, it is an AI tool which can generate almost anything you ask. It can generate essays, poems, stories, questions, ideas and even write code. We are going to integrate ChatGPT into MIT App Inventor to create our own mobile chatbot app. If you are not aware of MIT App Inventor, it is a platform where you can create mobile apps without coding, but just by dragging blocks. So first we are going to create a new project in MIT App Inventor named AI Chatbot. Next in the properties of screen 1, we are going to change the theme to be device default and change the title of this screen one to be ask anything next let's go to the layout section and we are going to bring in a vertical scroll arrangement and let's put the height and width of this arrangement to be fill parent so that it occupies the whole mobile screen like this next we are going to bring in the horizontal arrangement over here and we are going to put the width to be fill parent like this so in this vertical arrangement we are going to add a label so let's go to user interface and we are going to bring in a label component like this and set the font size of this to be 20. In this label, we are going to display all the conversations between the AI or the chatbot and the human. So let, let me just put the sample text. So I'm going to put AI and then the AI is going to say hello. Next, we are going to put the text box over here. So let's bring in a text box and put it in this horizontal arrangement. And we are going to change the properties of this horizontal arrangement to be center center for the align property over here. Next we are going to bring in a button and we are going to change the text of this button to be send. So the user is going to type his question or his text prompt in this text box and click on this button to send it to the AI which will answer in this label. So that's how it's going to work. Next we are going to go to the connectivity section and we are going to bring in the web component. Let's go to the sensor section and let's bring in the clock component. In this clock component we are going to put the timer interval to be 10 seconds which is equal to 10,000 milliseconds like this. Next we are going to use an MIT App Inventor extension which can integrate OpenAI into MIT App Inventor. So basically it uses the OpenAI API to so that we can bring it inside MIT App Inventor and generate prompts and create an app like ChatGPT. So first go to this link which is in the description below and then you can scroll down a bit like this and click on the AIX file and download it. After downloading the AIX file of the extension, you can scroll down in MIT App Inventor and go to the extension section and click on import extension where we, you will import the AIX file of the extension which we downloaded. Over here you can see that the OpenAI extension has been imported which you can just drag in inside this mobile and you can see that it is visible in the components. Next we need to generate an API key so that we can access the OpenAI API. So let's go to this OpenAI website. Again, it's in the description below and let's click on API. Next, click on login or if you don't have an account, you can sign up. Over here, click on your profile picture and cl click on view API keys. Now click on create new secret key to create your API key and you'll be able to see your API key over here, which you can just copy and keep it because we need to use it later. Now back in MIT App Inventor, let's go to the block section and over here we are going to give instructions for our app using blocks and not by coding. So over here you can see we have lots of components. Let's go to variables and we are going to initialize a new variable called API key. And we are going to set the value of this API key to be the API key which we have just copied from over here. So now I'm going to go over here to text and we are going to bring in this obf obfuscated text. And over here let's paste the API key which you have just copied. Next when the user clicks on the send button after writing his text prompt, we need to send it to the AI open AI and also show it in this conversation in this label one so that the whole conversation is visible to the user. So in the blocks when the button one is clicked which is the send button we need to first show the, the conversation in label one. So let's we are going to set the label one dot text to be here we are going to join multiple strings so we are going to use the join block and this join block is going to have three strings. So just bring in another string like this. Next we are going to add add the label one dot text block over here so that it copies the conversation which has been done previously. Also we are going to put let's go to the text and we are going to bring in an empty string. Next we are going to put over here next line next line 
using this and then we will put u and put a colon and a space like this so this shows that this so that this will show the co the text prompt entered by the user next we are going to go over here to text box 1 and we are going to set this to be text box 1.txt so basically we are going to we, we are going to show the user what he has entered or what he has sent to the chatbot next we are going to use the open as api so that we can chat with the ai and the, we can get the result from the ai so let's bring in this block called call openai1.chat so first we need to put the text prompt or the question asked by the user so we can get that question by using textbox1.text but make sure you go to the text blocks over here and over here we are going to replace the text so let's bring in this block in the prompt and the text is going to be text box 1 and we will replace the double quotes with a single quote so let's just bring in an empty string over here and i'm going to put a double quote over here next duplicate this and the replacement is going to be a single quote like this next you need to choose your ai model so i'm going to choose davinci like this you can choose any model you want next you can put the api key so we ha we already have saved the api key in this global variable so you can use you can get this block so that we we can get the api key from this global variable next we have the max tokens so in this max tokens you can determine the length of the answer provided by the ai so if you want the length to be larger or smaller you can put it over here so i'm going to go to the math blocks and i'm going to put number like 300 as the length next we have the informative boolean so this is a boolean where you can put either true or false and I'm going to bring in this block. So if you put true, the answer given by the AI will be informative and it will be technical. If you put false, the AI will generate a, a more creative answer which is not technical and it is creative. So after the user clicks on the button, we also need to clear the, the text box. So for that, we are going to go to the text box and we are going to set the text box one dot text to be an empty string. So let's go to the text components the text blocks and we are going to bring in this empty string like this next we need to set the title of the screen one so this is the title ask anything we need to change it to loading please wait so that the user knows that the ai is processing the answer so for that we are going to go to the screen one component and over here we are going to bring in screen one dot title blocks like this so set screen one dot title to and then let me just copy this block and over here i'm going to put loading please wait Next, we need to enable the timer one. So let's go to clock one. And over here, we need to enable the timer. So if you scroll down a bit, you have a block called set clock one dot timer enabled. So as you can see, we have disabled the timer over here. So make sure it is disabled in this properties. And we are going to enable it over here in when the button is clicked. So timer one dot enabled is going to be true right now. Next, we, we need to disable the send button, which is button one. So let's go over here and we are going to bring in the set button one dot enabled and we, we are going to set this to be false. So let me just set this to be false like this. Next when the user when when the clock one the timer is enabled. So let's go to clock one and we have this block when clock one dot timer. We need to disable the timer again. So let me go over here and we will set the clock one dot timer to be disabled and false like this we will need we, sh we, we should also enable the button so that the user can send the message like this true next after the ai generates the response we need to show it in this lab in the label one so we are going to bring in this block when open ai one dot got response we are going to show it in the label one which is the conversation so let's go to label one and we are going to set the label one dot text to be again we are going to use the join block as we did in the beginning while setting the label one dot text to whatever the user has entered so we can just copy and paste it over here like this and this is going to be label one dot text so that we can get all the text from the previous conversation next you need to change this to be ai because right now ai is going to generate the answer for your question and we need to show it and over here instead of text box one we are going to put the response which is generated by ai so you can get the response and you have successfully finished creating your chatbot app in MIT App Inventor. Now let us test the app and let's see if it is working. So over here you can see the chatbot app which we have created using OpenAI's API. So now I'm going to ask it to generate a essay on how AI takes over the world. Now let's click on send. You can see that the AI is loading the answer. 
now you can see that the AI has generated the whole essay about how AI takes over the world. You can ask any question to this chatbot and it will answer. Do you know that AI can also draw images from the text you provide? OpenAI has created DALL-E where you can enter some text and it will draw an art for you. To create your own image generating AI, watch this video and also watch my full course of MIT Abinventor over here.